love with love one night when the moon was full. I was unwise with eyes unable to see. Hi, I'm Howard McGillan, and it's a thrill to be a part of the AS4 Benefit tonight and to pay special tribute to my dear, dear friend, Rebecca Luker. Rebecca was funny, she was smart, she was fiercely talented, and among many, many things, she cared so much about women's reproductive rights and making sure that those rights were secured for every woman. Rebecca was known for her beautiful soprano voice. No one sang like her, a gift from the angels. Sweetness and light was kind of her calling card, this amazing, gorgeous soprano voice, this beautiful tenderness that she evoked in all of her roles. Well, let me tell you, there was also a tough cookie underneath. I've searched high and low. I've looked near and far. For something droll and jovial in the soprano repertoire. <laughs> it seems to me that when the notes climb higher on the staff, it becomes less likely that anyone will laugh. <laughs> I sailed on showboats and I loved some music men. If there's one thing that it's taught me, if there's one thing that I know, I'll sing my ass off, but 80 Annie steals the show. She's funny. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny Burstein, and I'm here to talk a little bit about my late wife, Rebecca Luker. Rebecca's first uh, political act was, uh, well, I was about to say it was uh, when she formed uh, Broadway for Choice in 1992, and she organized buses to go and march in D.C. when uh, Roe v. Wade was in jeopardy. But her actual first political statement was when she got an abortion as a young woman. She knew it didn't fit into her plans to move to New York to become an actress on Broadway. She made the decision about what was best for her and her body and her future. She drove up to a doctor in Birmingham, Alabama and paid for the abortion herself. It was a brave and personal and political act. She supported A is For and All They Stand For. She sang at their events and even wrote an article chronicling the journey of her abortion. I too support A is for, and hope you will too. I miss Rebecca very much, and I know she's with us tonight, supporting this organization and everything it stands for. Thank you so much. Rebecca was one of the first Broadway stars to come out in support of AS4. She was incredibly brave and she even wrote about her abortion uh, when she was younger uh, for our website in a beautiful and fierce article uh, that we were so lucky uh, to have uh, to be able to share with everyone. She showed up at one of the first Broadway acts for women and man, did she nail it. She was just incredible. And she was so nervous because you know, the whole point is the singers don't know what they're gonna sing. So, uh, but she was just brilliant. And I'll just never forget how wonderful she was and how funny 
and how fierce and how dedicated to this mission. So she was really, really devoted to making sure that our mission at AS4 was amplified and I'll never ever be able to thank her enough for that.